After observing the text, you are ready to begin interpreting John 7, 1 through 39. The Bible Word Study feature is a great next step to begin interpreting a passage. It's designed to help with detailed examination of an individual word in its original biblical language. Let's go back to John 7, 1 through 39 in the Lexham English Bible. Your highlights should still be visible. Right click the word living and ensure the English word living at the top of the menu is highlighted. Click Bible Word Study. The guide will open in a separate panel. Click the arrow to the left of Greek words and a colored translation ring will appear. Now, click Living in the middle of the ring. A list of Greek words with corresponding verses will show below the ring. Pause the video and take a few minutes to skim these verses and enter any interesting things you learn into your notes. Scroll down until you get to John 7, 38 to see which Greek word is used here. Scanning the verses before and after shows how Jesus speaks about this life to a thirsty Samaritan woman, also in the context of thirst, to a man who was afraid his son would die, to people explaining that he was the source of life, and how he is the source of real life, clearly an important theme for Jesus in this gospel. Scroll down to the phrases section and open it, and note how this phrase living water is explained as satisfying spiritual needs. Click the phrase to see where else it is used. As well as picking up the references we have already noted in John's Gospel, it appears in Revelation, looking forward to what Jesus will do for his people, and also in Jeremiah and Zechariah, where God is recognized as being the source of life, and with a promise that this living water will flow again. So here in John, Jesus is claiming that he is that source of real life, and that in him, satisfaction can be found. Did you find any other words of interest in your review of the passages over the last few days? Take a few minutes as you conclude today's lesson to complete a Bible word study on one or more of your highlighted words and record your findings in your notes. Studying even one word in its original language helps to shed light on a passage and ensures you will more accurately interpret what it means.